she loved me like Lucy. I'm a dog. Welcome to the weekend, everybody. Let's get it going with NBA action on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony as well as Brett Berry. And we'll be catching up a bit from the sideline with David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Well, thank you, Kevin. Clint Capella's game is based on activity. He said, I'm going to outwork you the whole game. Maybe it's not on social media, but it's efficient. I'm not thinking I want to look nice or I want to make a nice move. I'm thinking about dominating the paint. Guys, I'm thinking about dominating sideline reporting. <laughs> you already do. <laughs> you and he are winning players. David, thank you. A chance here to rank the top rookies in the NBA. The race for the rookie of the year. How about these guys? Huh? What a group. Now you look at Moody. You know, there have been moments for him this year, but overall, it just doesn't look like he'll finish near the top of the list. And the crop of young talent coming into the league this year, especially this group, has painted a very bright picture for the future of the NBA. We see such great physical ability across the board with these young players. Some guys' polished skills are so impressive, but who becomes the star usually comes down to who puts in the most work. Now Golden State's starting five. And the old core of this team out there, Curry and Clay, is guards with Draymond at four. Wiggins is out there with James Wiseman. And for the Hawks, Young and Bogdanovich, they have the guard duties. And in at the forward positions, Hunter and Collins. And it's Capella in at the five, roaming the paint. And Greg is the playoffs loom in the distance for those teams who have overachieved in the regular season. How do they ensure that their success continues in the postseason? Well, listen, the skeptics will remain. And you've got to understand the playoffs are a different animal. You have to be resilient and adaptable. And when that adversity hits, that's when your focus has to rise. Now, here's Hunter. Following the miss by Andrew Wiggins. Hunter kicks to Collins. Spins. Bogdanovich dishes to Collins. Collins, a screen on Curry. Five on the clock. A second chance effort. And the layup good by Collins. Collins has got the first points on the scoreboard for Atlanta. Outside Curry. We play just over a minute here in the first. Kicks it out to Wiggins. Fires the three. Again, Wiggins missing. For Atlanta, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Down low, here's Collins. Doesn't go that time. So Golden State will take it the other way. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. Yeah, and with most of the arena against them, they just banded together and trusted one another to make the right play. Yeah, and in that game, it turned into a massive scoring night. It wasn't so much about the, the game plan as it was establishing early confidence to get that win. Well, something, Greg, we can't take for granted. It's nice just to see Klay Thompson out on the floor. No doubt, Kevin. And, you know, the NBA is just a better league with a healthy Klay Thompson. Makes this team more fun to Shoot watch. Two. Good for humor and one incredible performance a year. That free throw good from Thompson. And, Brent, you look at the career of Klay Thompson. He's had improvements every step of the way. Yeah, and he's still just an elite shooter that, because of what Steph does, because of Draymond's unselfishness, Clay is going to add 25 points in the blink of an eye. Uh, that, along with his defense, just make that backcourt something special. And so Thompson nails both of them. And you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Bogdanovich passes to Young. Goes up with a stripe, and he knocks down the jumper. Young's got just incredible confidence. And here's Curry, who brings it up for the Warriors. The pass to Wiseman. Back to Curry. Outside, Green. Back to Curry. The three. And the Warriors miss again. 
Hawks have gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Hunter dishes to Collins. Young against Curry. Let's it go from 11. No good on that one. Good D by Thompson. Maybe a time to rest him right now. Just give him a bit of a breather. Try to help him get back on track. Man, I thought he was making that in so close. That's some aggressive defense. Now, here's Hunter. Following the miss by Draymond Green. Collins, good. And he's really been working to get those looks. And it's starting to pay off here early on. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. To the inside, 11 feet away. The shot by Thompson, no good. Well, that mid-range, Jay, usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. Hunter finds Bogdanovich. A three-pointer off the mark. Warriors trail by four. Green inside. Working on Collins. Pass to Wiseman. Back to Thompson. Fires for three. Rebounded by Capella. Just a, enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Young looking it over. And there's the drive. And Wiseman sends it back. Hunter no good. Not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. Curry outside. Good. Another from three. And his incredible shooting season continues. Oh, up the history charts. He climbs GA now tied for third all time for threes in a season. Absolutely amazing. Atlanta again missing. Just doing the job on the backboard. And it's Green missing. And so it's Capella with it. He brings it up for Atlanta. And Young kicks to Hunter. Outside Collins. And here's Bogdanovich for three. Up the line by Atlanta. And Draymond Green picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. On defense, the Warriors. They trail by one. Pass to Hunter. Six on the shot clock. Launches a three. And Bogdan Bogdanovich gets the three. Yeah, you could tell Hunter knew he was open, did not hesitate to find him. Curry against Young. Curry on the wing. Last game with 30 points over Young. And the shot falls short this time. The Hawks leading by four. Hunter finds Young. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Thompson against Bogdanovich. Capella with a screen on Kerr. Lob pass to Capella. Up high to stop the alley. I draw that one up again. Throw it up. Capella jump. You slam it through. That's an easy tip. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Well, the backstory of Clint Capella is interesting as he was only the second player, Greg, from Switzerland to make it to the NBA. Yeah, Kevin, you know, you don't think of basketball right away when you think of Switzerland, but the game has grown so much in Europe over the years. Guys like Capella, who might have gone into soccer at one point, are now gravitating towards who?
look here for the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Wiseman. Biel Itza comes in for Green. Andre Igudala is checked in for Wiggins. Moody's subbed in for Clay Thompson. Here's Pilate taking a look at his stance. He's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Good anticipation there from Iguodala, who is a very good passer. Right, the pass to going up. Back to right. And finished off by Wright. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, well, he settled for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. Here's Bailey after the basket by Atlanta. Passes it to Moody. Lock at six. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Right, the pass to Herter. Kicks to Okongwu. And there's the pass to Gallinari. Okongwu with the screen for Gallinari. Over Bielitsa. And it's Gallinari missing. And they've come out with a take no prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Curry attacking back to Bielitsa. Three pointer hits the three point bomb. And now just a one point Hawks lead. Bielitsa, when he gets those feet set, that shot looks so good. Gallinari against Bielitsa. Now, here's Okongwu. He's guarded close. Right against Kirk. And it's right missing. He may not be the strongest inside presence in the league, but still, he's got to convert from there. Here's Looney. No points in the game yet for him. That's tipped. And now, here comes Wright, leading the break. And Wright throws it down home. On both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. You have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. So it's the Warriors now, after the basket by Atlanta. Here's Igudala. The shot, no good. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him, just a flat out miss. Now, here's Moody, guarded by Wright. Curry. Okongwu grabs the board. The Hawks leading by three. That is the pass to Wright. Here's Hurt. And here's Reddish. Currently averaging almost six points a game. And the foul on Cam Reddish. That's his first foul. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Lou Williams has checked in for DeLon Wright. And the Warriors also making a change. Kaminga's checked in. 112 left to play here in the first. There's a good screen. Curry with it. And it's Reddish picking him up. Shot clock at six. Moody's shot is off. Man is gone. Just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Gallinari kicks to Williams. Gallinari is screen. From deep. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. He's not the guy that you want to give a wide-open look from three-point range, they're lucky that that one doesn't cost them. Here's Moody. It's rebounded by Lou Williams. The Hawks leading by three. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. He dishes it to Reddish. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And the more and more Cam Reddish gets confidence in that kind of game where he's going to go inside and attack, 
That's a big help. Atlanta shooting their first free throws here for the night. First free throw is good. No question there's a high ceiling for Cam Reddish and where that talent can get him to. He's perfect from the line this time. So it's the Warriors now. It's a five point game. Cam may get it. Curry's shot is good. Curry's got five points so far. Close defense can't shake Curry off of his shot. He just pushes the way through there and finishes. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Hawks lead by three. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And this Warriors team has an interesting mix of championship vets with hungry young players. Andrew Wiggins spoke about that great dynamic. That's our team love to teach. The good player, they're always telling us why we did it, why you should do this, why you should do that. So it's been a lot of learning and also been very exciting uh, for the young players. Agreed. No doubt Wiggins has been soaking up that wisdom. Greg stepping up his game in the process. Yeah, a big culture shift coming from Minnesota. And he's blossomed under the tutelage of these Hall of Famers. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard. And for the Hawks, guys, what stands out to you stands like? I mean, the rebounding was the difference in that first period. You've got to block these guys out. Yeah, rebounding can also be just about will. And they showed some of that in going in there and collecting some boards. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Green and Wiseman make up the inside pair. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Clay Thompson. And it's Kaminga in at the small forward position. Here's Kaminga. Will not go. This is off the front eye. And gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. And Greg, just from the eye test, Kaminga's built like a guy who's in his late 20s. And physically, he's got some LeBron James to him. Great natural strength, fast, explosive off the floor. When he puts his head down and goes to the bucket, he can be unstoppable. Hunter, no good. Last outing for the Hawks, it was a loss to the Pistons. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. The shot, no good. So the Hawks will take it the other way. This game coming after a loss against the Pistons. Poor execution in that one. Not sure what led to the lack of focus, but coaching staff definitely not happy. And, and they made some comments themselves that some of the fault might have lied with them because they didn't go in with the best of game plans and they didn't make the right adjustments. So we'll see tonight if they do. Master Wiggins. Over Hunter. Rebound Atlanta. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Alden. Thank you, Kevin. Clay Thompson has lost two prime years to a torn ACL and then a ruptured Achilles. He says so many athletes have been through this. It's just a new set of challenges. With my style of play, I feel I can be effective until my late 30s. I plan on being the all-NBA player I was and won't settle for anything less. Guys, that will be a great comfort for this team. James Indeed, White. and who's going to doubt it? I love his attitude. Undaunted. David, thank you. The Hawks trail by four. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill.
pitch is checked in for Williams. And it's DeLon right in for Trey Young. And Golden State also making a change. Andre Iguodala. He's checked in for Kaminga. He's covered by Thompson. It's stolen by Green. Inside. And it's Iguodala missing. And here's Hunter. He'll bring it up for Atlanta. In the second quarter, held scoreless. Following this game, they'll hit the road to challenge the Pacers at Pacers Arena in Indianapolis. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for them. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. They set the pick, and DeLon Wright gets the whistle that time. That's his first, that's his first foul. First team and brings some interesting family history here. Your dad, Rick, brother John, and you all ended your careers playing for the Houston Rockets. The next time, Kevin, that you and I are broadcasting a game in Houston, I'll walk you across the street to the Berry Cemetery, and we'll take a look at the headstone. And, and Wiggins thrived as a secondary option. Seems that is the role he's best fit for. Uh, his efficiency soared. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Shoot and shoot. They've definitely had a hot hand from three-point range. Always nice to get off to a good start. I'm loving the ping pong action of the ball tonight. A decent number of assists so far. First one falls for him. And with Wiggins, he didn't face the same pressure, Greg. It was a huge weight off his shoulders. And, and that mental aspect impacts players. Wiggins was asked to do less, and as a result, ended up doing more. And both free throws good for Wiggins. And we've seen such an influx with Andrew Wiggins sort of opening the door to Canada and all of the talent, R.J. Barrett, Trey Lyles, Shea Gilgis, Alexander, just to name a few. Bogdanovich passes to Hunter. Lob pass to Capella. And the turnover again by Atlanta. And this gives us a chance to check out some league leaders, the top passing big men since we've entered the season's second half. Second, Draymond Green. It takes a tremendous feel for the game to be able to make the passes these big guys are capable of making out of the low post. Well, an offense that's unpredictable can be tough to guard. The ball doesn't go into the low post and never come out. It keeps moving thanks to their passing ability and playing unselfish basketball. Thompson finds Wiggins. Rebounded by Capella. Cabela's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Pass to Bogdanovich. The Hawks again can't hit. Well, we're chipping some orange paint off the rim here, guys. He must be more patient on offense and trying to find ways to penetrate inside and get closer to the rim. It's stolen by Capella. Right outside. Capella dishes to right. Collins, a screen on Iguodala. Here's Wright. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And a moment here to check out who the Golden State Warriors have coming up. On Sunday, they'll go up against Bradley Beal and the Washington Wizards. Then on Monday, they'll be facing Stephen Adams and the Memphis Grizzlies. And for their matchup with Phoenix. That's going to be one where it would take a lot of errors and maybe a cold shooting night for things to go wrong. They just have that much of an advantage over that team. And he makes the first. Okonwu is checked in for the Hawks. Reddish comes in for Hunter. Golden State also making some changes. Looney's checked in for Wiseman. Biel Itza comes in for Draymond Green. And Stephen Curry subbed in for Thompson. And so Wright nails both of them. And it's the Warriors with the ball. 
Only given up two points this quarter. Passes it to Looney. Iguodala with it. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Now, here's Bielitsa. Defense is right there. Just three to shoot. And it's Iguodala missing. The Hawks trail by four. That is, kicks to right. There's the pass to Capella. Here's Bogdanovich. Rebound by Bielitsa. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Not a lot of plays drawn up for Capella, so his energy and involvement come from that kind of activity there. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. Wiggins with it and guarded by Capella. Wiggins passes to Kerr. Iguodala in the pick for Kerr. A shot. No good. Atlanta's gone over 3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Bogdanovich dishes to right. Back to Bogdanovich. It's up a 3. And it's Bogdanovich again missing. Golden State's gone 1-2 on 3-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Curry deciding where to go with it. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Here's Bogdanovich. The shot goes down and he gets his game back to even. Bogdanovich has got his second basket of the night. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. On its way from Curry for two. Another miss by Curry. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for the Hawks. He kicks it to Okongwu. Right with a screen on Wiggins. Here's Bogdanovich. Gets that one to drop. A rear make bumping him up to three for ten. Probing and looking and finding ways. Bogdanovich really in attack mode here tonight. Here's Curry. And Capella sends it back. Wiggins against Bogdanovich. Pass to Capella. Now right. Back to Capella. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Capella's got four points now in the quarter. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Timeout called the Warriors. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it. Make the adjustment. Kevin Herter comes in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. And Trey Young subbed in for DeLon Wright. Kamingas come in for the Warriors. Moody comes in for Andrew Wiggins. Curry 
Curry against Young. Curry kicks it to Looney. Now here's Kaminga. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Guys, this offense very effective. And guys, the defense has been no match. They've just picked them apart. Young passes to Capella. And here's Gallinari. Capella sets a screen for Gallinari. Capella inside. He's covered by Bielitsa. Capella with a screen on Kurt. Herter tries again. And Capella with a nice bucket inside. Capella's got the lead up to six now for Atlanta. And this has been an outstanding display on the boards, and it's a big part of why they have a lead in this game, doing the dirty work down low. Moody the pass to Kurt. Now, here's Moody. Four on the clock. Will it go? Out of bounds. It'll go to the Hawks. Taking a look here at the numbers for Curry. He's been on a tear since the All-Star break going really to another level. He's right around 29 points a night. Five assists and five rebounds. And guys, he can just explode for points anytime he steps on the court. Well, he looks to score, and he looks to score often. There's 49 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Looney's starting to play a little bit angry right now. And that's helping this defense be more aggressive. And again, no good by Golden State. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Frustration seems to be mounting here. And you can see, not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. Capella sends a screen for going on. And Gallinari throws it down. And they ran that pick and roll extremely precise. The result was a good look for Gallinari. Young against Kerr. Elbow shot is on the way. Buries the jump shot. Curry's got seven points in the game. And sinking that one, he ends a 14-0 run by Atlanta. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Alongside Steve Kerr and Coach, what is the offensive approach going to be in the second half? Well, we just have to do what we do, move the ball uh, and wear them down with our ball movement, our cutting, and our spacing, and set better screens, all the, all the usual stuff. Yeah, it always seems to work out for you in the long run. Thanks, Steve. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. Hey folks, welcome to the Halftime Show. A lead right now in this one for the Atlanta Hawks. And it pains me to say this, but I think we need some insight from Professor Diesel. Secrets to success in the second half? You want the regular voice of the professor, Ernie? I I'll take whatever you got. It's easy, Ernie. Whoever decides the EOEP has the extinct advantage. Wait, the strategy. What is E? O-E-P. What does that even stand for? Well, I'm glad you asked me, pupil Kenneth. You know this, execute on every possession. It's what I said to myself. E-O-E-P. Execute on every possession. Was it, was it just me, or did I hear you say they have an extinct advantage? Is that what I said? I don't know what I said. Oh, now, thanks for admitting it. Oh, we're still on there. And now for that first half we just saw, some good momentum leading into quarter three for the Atlanta Hawks. The bench unit was an essential part of the puzzle in the first half. They really stepped it up in a big way, and that helped out. And now the starters can appreciate not having to carry the load on their own. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. And 
after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Clint Capella has been sensational. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. And in at the forward positions, Hunter and Collins. Young and Bogdanovich, they have the guard duty. And it's Capella in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. And something we've seen the last few years, boxing ones thrown at Curry, although they've had mixed success. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Curry kicks to Thompson. Now here's Wiseman. Capella covering. Pass to Curry. Wiseman sets a screen for Curry. There's the lob to the hoop. And finished off by Wiseman. I would love to throw lob passes to Wiseman because they could be anywhere. And amazing to even consider using a box in one of the NBA, isn't it, Greg? But Curry does that with his offense to the teams that defend him. Kevin, I, I agree. And it, it did work well in the 2019 finals. Curry has started to adjust to that look. Much harder to use when Curry has other options on offense. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Atlanta Hawks are back. Last season, they won the Southeast Division for the first time in six seasons. With quality players at every position, things are starting to gel. Trey Young said, this feels good. We just have a lot of belief in each other. Guys, they are poised to be good for a long time. Well, they've clearly made the turn, David. Thanks. Young with no one around. A shot that time, not on target. The Warriors go the other way. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Washington. They'll face the Wizards. And that game will be four out of five on the road for the team. Draymond Green showing off some big man handles. Great job from the point forward there. Awesome display of athleticism captured by our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Collins kicks to Bogdanovich. Collins a screen on Thompson. Bobbed up there for Collins. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Young. As we close in on the start of the playoffs, let's see how the East is stacking up. Take a look at the Hawks. Right now they've acquired the second best record in the conference. And I think for the Hawks, uh, they've been ruthless competitors all season long. I mean, they've assured themselves of plenty of home games in the postseason. Let's see if they can take advantage. Baseline jumper. Rebounded by the Hawks. Collins has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Young against Kirk. Young pass to Hunter. Outside Collins. Passes it to Bogdanovich. A three-pointer, no good. Warriors trailed by three. Wiggins, right side. Curry finds Wiggins. And they're unable to get the time basket there. Outside, Bogdanovich. The pass to Collins. Here's Young. Misses off the right iron. Sometimes you just have an off night, guys, and that's what we've seen so far. And the Warriors miss again. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Hunter kicks to Young. Collins setting the big for Young. Pass to Collins. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. Atlanta again missing. Not a way to get out of a funk. He needs to be looking for good, solid, more efficient shots. Not the wild one he took there. Timeout called the Warriors. 
In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Changes. Okongwu comes in for Clint Capella. Lou Williams is up in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. Andre Igudawa is checked in for Golden State. Thompson against Williams. Weisman the pass to Igudala. Five to shoot. Thompson against Williams. The shot by Thompson, no good. It wouldn't surprise me to see him find his touch and still be a factor. Don't count them out yet. Okongwu with the screen for Hunter to the paint. There's Williams and he uses the glass on the lane. Such a dynamic score inside, outside. It really doesn't matter. Lou Williams is a huge threat to score, especially coming off the bench. Thompson outside. That's the three fly and it's John Collins with the rebound. Collins has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Williams with the ball. Now Green defending. Shot by Collins. No good. Warriors trail by five. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Thompson finds Green. To the inside. And scored by Okongwu. The three, Hunter, drills it from outside. Hunter's got the lead up to eight now for Atlanta. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle sticks for the Hawks? Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. Well, looking up and down the stat sheet here, I'm seeing those second chance points jump out at me. They've done a great job on the offensive glass. Collins, a screen on Wiggins. Williams kicks to Hunter, feeds to Collins. Over Wiggins, and there's Collins on the assist by Hunter. Hunter's got four assists in the game. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Wiggins passes to Thompson. Atlanta with the rebound. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm up. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm up, so maybe just a step too far. Hawks passing it around. Okongwu dishes to right. Collins setting the pick for right over Wiseman. And it's Clay Thompson with the rebound. Warriors trail by seven. Poked away and stolen by Wright. There's the dish to Hunter. 
over in the corner, Williams. And Draymond Green picks up the foul. Draymond Green. That's foul number That's two for him. Atlanta calls timeout. The Hawks call a timeout. Some changes. Alan Ari, he's checked in for Okongwu. Reddish comes in for Hunter. And Kevin Herter subbed in for DeLon Wright. Different look here for the Warriors. Kevon Looney is checked in for Wiseman. Bialica comes in for Draymond Green. Kumingas come in for Andre Iguodala. Moody subbed in for Clay Thompson. So it's Atlanta with it. They lead by seven. Six to shoot. Herder passes to going up. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. One thing you love about stars like Danilo Gallinari is how they remind you that basketball is truly an international game. And especially GA for Gallinari to want to come over and play against the best in the world. It wasn't about achieving MVPs and accolades in the Italian League. He wanted to stack up his skill set versus the best small forwards and power forwards in the NBA. And Gallo has had a remarkable career as a professional here in the States. Free throw good from Kaminga. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. The Hawks leading by six. Williams with a clean look. Gets it from downtown. Williams has got five points so far. Uh, defense cannot leave a potent scorer like Lou Williams that open. Moody the pass to Wiggins. Here's Bialitz. Wiggins surveying the floor. And there's the call on John Collins. And that's his first foul. And we are seeing a lot of star players now, Brent, gravitate to the big markets. Do you think the NBA will ever have something like a, like a franchise tag similar to pro football? That's an interesting idea. Um, I don't think so. I don't know if the, the NBA Players Union would, would sign off on something like that. The first thing that might be addressed is getting to a point where there is uh, a salary cap and a hard cap for, for teams to stay under uh, some sort of financial restrictions that allow the smaller market teams to compete in some ways. But uh, up until that time, Kevin, I don't see uh, much of that changing. Coming of the pass to Looney. Golden State moving the ball around. A three from Bielitsa. There's a stellar effort from Gallinari there, really contesting. Bielitsa misses. Williams passes to Herter. No good that time. The Warriors go the other way with it. 
Here's Moody. Wiggins kicks it to Looney. Back to Wiggins. He leads a screen on Williams. Golden State needs to get off the shot with his first shot attempt. No good on the shot a bit long that time. Atlanta leading by nine. Collins trying to break free over Bielitsa. Shot by Collins, no good. Golden State's gotten one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. Kuminga with it. Williams picks him up. Kicks it out to Wiggins. He banks in the lane. Toughness there from Andrew Wiggins. Would like to see more baskets like that one from him. Alinari outside. We've got 113 left to play here on the third. Here's Williams. And that one hits back iron. And he looked like he rushed it a bit. The defense wasn't terrible, but still, he's got to knock that down. Pass to Looney. And here is Moody. Rebound by the Hawks. Here's Hurt. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. This is to Williams. Cowan setting the pick for Williams. And it's good. Two points. Williams has got the lead up to nine now for the Hawks. The Warriors shooting a pretty brutal 29% since the break. Seven second difference. Shot and game clock. Here's Moody. He's tightly guarded. And the rejection by Collins. Oh, sir. Collins sending that one away. And the wide open shot from Reddish. Good. Great play by Williams to set it up. And it's a 12 point Atlanta lead. Puts the move on. That one's not going to go. And as we end the third quarter, a double digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Hawks ahead. They finish off the third quarter on a 15 to six run. And time for the short break and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. And a moment ago inside the huddle with head coach Steve Kerr. Game control, come on now. Every pass, every possession, play with a purpose. We talked about this, all right? Solid play, every time. Right now, come on. Oh, some fire in Coach Kerr's voice right there. Greg demanding his team kick it up a notch. How about the intensity from the coach there? Less than happy with his team's effort right now. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. Setting the floor for the Warriors. And the old core of this team out there, Curry and Clay, is guards with Draymond at four. James Wiseman's out there with Iguodala. They get it again. Out to Gallinari. Capella with a screen on green. Gallinari, the bounce pass. Great open look there. Hunter's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Hawks. Gallinari at that size can do a little bit of everything, and I like to see him dishing the rock. Murray finds Thompson. Down low. Here's Weisman. And oh, he jams it right over Clint Capella. Wow. And, and Kevin, even though they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular. And he did. Well, maybe this is the best time to do it. Young pass to Capella. And now running it up the court. Green pushing it all the way. Well, Steph started that all with his defense. Fantastic at getting into the passing lane and coming up with a steal. Passes to Capella. Ogdanovich with it. Heisman picks him up. Capella with a screen on Curry. Young passes to Capella. And the dunk by Capella. And that's a double-double for him now. Ten points and 17 rebounds. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. 
Green in the post. Alan Ari on him. Shoots from 12. Green, no luck. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Here's Young. Softly drops in the floater. And the Hawks lead by 15. Young working hard on the defensive end that time. Golden State moving it around. To the middle. And there's Thompson. That's good on the assist by Green. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. Young pass to going up. Young outside. Over Wiseman. And Wiseman sends it back. And Wiseman using the length, swatting that one away. And Thompson kicks to Curry. Green with a screen for Curry. Back to Thompson. And the pass to Curry. And again for three. The threes just don't stop with him. He's been a machine from beyond the arc ever since the start of the season. Uh, he continues, doesn't he, to shoot his way up the history books and now sits solely by himself for third most threes in a season. Young with the ball. Now Green defending. Gallinari against Green. There's the triple. And it's Gallinari missing. He really suffocated him there, guys. Just excellent work. Green finds Curry. Now here's Wiseman. Back to Curry. From deep three-point range, it's hauled in by Clint Capella. Capella's got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. Here's Young. And the reception by Iguodala. Iguodala demonstrating his defensive prowess yet again. Superb reach on that block. Thompson outside. And the shot's good on the assist by Iguodala. Thompson's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Warriors. Young against Kurt. Trying to break that ice-cold streak. Here's another rebound. He holds in his 20th rebound. Dominating the glass. The hustle from Quentin Capella pays off there, just working hard to keep that play going. up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the last time out. He said, do you want this game? Don't tell me about it. Show me and show your teammates. We've got to play better, and we've got to play harder if we're going to come back. Guys? Okay, David, thanks. Right side curve. 
Wiseman sets a screen for Curry. Pass to Wiseman. Trying to find Thompson, he gets it to him. Curry on the wing. Rocket six. Wiseman sets a screen for Curry. Rebounded by Capella. And so it's Capella with it. He brings it up for the Atlanta Hawks. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Pass to Bogdanovich. No good on the triple. Warriors trail by nine. Green passes to Curry. Kicks it to Thompson. Green in the post. Defended by Young. Green, no luck. Atlanta's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Young dishes to Bogdanovich. Hunter against Igudal. And Wiseman sends it back. From deep, Gallinari. A shot, no good. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. A struggle for him tonight, but if they can make this lead hold up, he can just chalk this up as one of those nights. Young against Green. Yep, that one goes. Draymond Green's not going to let anyone slow him down. Terrific at completing that chance. in. The Warriors also with a sub. Wiggins is checked in. The Hawks leading by seven. And Young kicks to Hunter. Side. Here's Capella. Eyes again. And the layup is good. Capella's got six in the quarter. Great hustle on display. And you know what? It's paying off with those second chance points. Thompson outside to the middle. Here's Weisman. Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Young outside. Bogdanovich passes to Capella. Here's Young. Basket good. And now an 11 point Hawks lead. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Curry against Young. And Capella sends it back. Intimidating right there. Capella just gets so long at times. Throws that one away. Here's Hunter. Goes back up. He takes it up and lays it in. And the Hawks lead by 13. How frustrating for the defense. You get the stop, but then fail to block out. Yeah, that pops 
your confident balloon out there just completely deflating when plays like that happen. Curry gets the bucket. And here's Young. Two minutes for making the game. Two minutes. And as it goes out of bounds, Atlanta able to keep the ball here. Still has ball. One fifty seven left in the fourth quarter. Hawks passing it around. Locked again. Wiggins with it, guarded by Hunter. This is it to Curry. Takes the three. Another miss by Curry. The Hawks leading by 11. Collins, a screen on Curry. Lob pass to Capella. Takes the alley oop pass and dunks it down. This might be one of the nights for Clint Capella where his teammates actually try to get him more involved than they normally do. Curry against Young. Always going up for the LU here. And finished off by Wiseman. 116 left in the game. Atlanta's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Guys, I think this is a game they have to feel good about as we wind through the final moments here in what looks to be a solid win for Atlanta. You know, their big advantage was points in the paint. And they found a way to pound the ball inside. And that was working all game long. And the effort here tonight adding to the W column for the season will go down as their 48th win. And you know, this is a win they wanted badly, guys. They did not want to get swept in the season series. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Clint Capella. Just a force on the glass, did a fantastic job crashing the boards and, and coming up with seemingly every rebound. And, and flashing some real toughness inside. Wiggins can finish plays that others simply can't. Outside Cullen. A three from Bogdanovich. They get a hand on it, and the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. Warriors substitution. Kuminga with it. This one for three. Okongwu grabs the board. Now here's Williams. And so it's Atlanta with the W. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the, the first step to becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And it, this is what they came out to do. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thank you. Trey, this is a young team. So what is the chemistry and connection that lets you play together so well? Uh, I mean, you, you're around us outside of the locker room. You can tell why we, why we support each other so well and the energy we have for each other on the court. I mean, it, you can tell the reason why we do that. And uh, I mean, I love this group. Well, congrats on the win, man. Appreciate your time. Kevin? David, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now, we present the New Balance Player of the Game, Clint Capella.